afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. The teacher arrested for sexting an 11 year old former student was called a danger to the community by the judge who kept his bond really high today. While he sits in jail, counselors were called to the school where he teaches. News 13's Krista Gutierrez is in the newsplex with that story. And Kim, today counselors visited classrooms at Edward Gonzalez Elementary. They called in students and even talked to a few parents about the allegations that put Jacob Lawler in handcuffs. He'll need a lot of money to get out of jail. I do believe that he poses a danger to the, and the safety of the community and other persons. I am going to go with pretrial services and require a $50,000 cash bond only. Jacob Lawler will need more than a year's teaching salary to get out of jail. And if he's able to, the judge made it clear he'd better stay away from the 11 year old girl police say he was sexting. It's an extra emphasis I have put in bold print no contact with the alleged victim. Exclamation mark. Investigators say the girl's father called police after finding explicit text messages on his daughter's cell phone from Lawler. She was one of Lawler's former students. Police say the teacher admitted to it all, saying he sent pictures of his genitals to the girl and asked her to send naked pictures of herself to him, and he says she did. Today, 20 counselors were called to the elementary school to talk to students about the allegations against one of their teachers. You never know what you're going to find when you get there. An APS counselor says the incident can bring on different emotions or even trust issues for some students. So counselors spoke with classrooms and even had one-on-one -on -one sessions. At other situations, it's been, you know, speaking to individual students or maybe two or three students at a time. Counselors say they're not specifically searching for more victims, but are giving students a safe place to talk. They're not alone. If they need help, they yes. can get it. Of course, yes. And I, I would suggest that if you have information or if you have uh, experienced something like this, that you do come forward. And police say Lawler had the cell phone numbers of several of his students stored in his phone. He told police he had saved them in case they became separated during a field trip. Back to you. Thanks, Crystal. Now, police say for now, the 11-year-old girl is the only victim who's come forward. Gas